what happened to T-Bug during the heist in Cyberpunk 2077. We are led to believe that T-Bug died after getting zapped by another runner on the net. However, V never sees her body, leaving some players to speculate that perhaps T-Bug's fate is not what it seems. In this video, we're going to explore what happened to T-Bug and clear up some rumors and misconceptions about this Cyberpunk 2077 character. So buckle up, grab some iced coffee, and let's dive into the world of Night City. A little over two years ago, I posted a video exploring what happened to T-Bug during the heist. At the time, many players were confused about what exactly happened to our Netrunner buddy after the heist went sideways. Bug! Just lost T! In Major Leagues! Happy now, Jackie! A deeper reading of events can lead us to conclude that T-Bug was killed by a hostile Netrunner after she was discovered hacking into the hotel subnet. After Saburo Arasaka was killed and the hotel was put on lockdown, Kompeki Plaza staff likely discovered and removed the Flathead bot, allowing the hotel Netrunner to become active again and fry T-Bug's cyberware. If we visit T-Bug's Netrunner friend named Yoko in Watson, she will explain that T-Bug was found dead in her apartment. T-Bug's death. What did you hear? The truth. She got burned. Like anyone who tries to hit Arasaka. They found the body in her pad. Nervous system fried. You know what that feels like? Mm. Can't say I do. They say it's like a hundred thousand knives stabbing you at once. I can't imagine a worse way to go. Poor girl. I liked her too. But what if there was more to the story than meets the eye? During our first and only in-person conversation with T-Bug, she explains that she plans to make a clean break from net running and the life of crime. Enough, I hope, to put me in a luxury Cretan villa from which I'll never set foot in cyberspace again. Promise to send me a postcard? No offense, but I'm gonna burn any and all bridges. Need a clean break. So what if T-Bug actually faked her own death to ensure none of her existing contacts would follow her? V never sees T-Bug's body, and it's likely that Yoko never did either. She is repeating information that she heard secondhand from another person after all. But what if this was a deliberate ruse to cover up T-Bug's true fate and allow her to make a clean break with the dangerous world of edge running? There are a number of things surrounding T-Bug's demise that are a bit sus. For starters, how did T-Bug get eliminated so quickly and easily? By all accounts, she was an extremely talented netrunner. Runners don't survive long in Night City if they don't know what they're doing. T-Bug knew the massive risks involved in a job like this, so why didn't she have an exit plan if things went south? You would expect a serious professional netrunner to be prepared for this sort of thing and have a way to bail if she was discovered. Getting ganked this way doesn't quite add up and sets off alarm bells for me. Second, as I mentioned already a couple of times, we never see T-Bug's body, a fatal mistake in fiction. If there's no body, then they might still be alive. Just ask Hawk in Dragon Age or Marini in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, who thought both her children were dead but never found their bodies. Hell, lots of people in Night City still think Morgan Blackhand is still alive, and even Rach Bartmoss survived his own death for a while, living on in the net until he released the Data Crash Rabbids virus. This seems like a good time to dispel one of the rumors I've seen about T-Bug. Some players have claimed to find T-Bug's body in an alleyway in Watson. And while this dead, bald, black female netrunner may look a lot like T-Bug, it's actually not her. How do I know this? Because you can find this body here in the exact same spot before completing the heist, you know, when T-Bug is still alive and well. So yeah, it's not T-Bug. Reusing character models with little to no alteration is a pretty common practice in video game development. You'd think that most developers would steer clear of reusing major characters as random NPCs in other parts of the game, but sadly, this still happens sometimes too. If you've played the first Witcher game, you'll know what I'm talking about. Practically every major NPC in that game gets reused as random NPCs many times over. But I digress. 
One potentially big hole in the T-Bug faking her own death theory is this. Would T-Bug still have faked her own death if the heist went smoothly? How did she know things would go sideways and provide her with an opportunity to fake it till she made it? There are two plausible explanations for this. One, faking her own death was a fallback plan, potentially. Had the heist gone well, T-Bug would have just ridden off into the sunset on her stack of eddies. But when the heist was botched, T-Bug faked her own death as a means to make that desired clean break. Perhaps it was even a defense mechanism or an escape plan like the one I talked about earlier. Faking her own death would have been a way to fool the hostile Netrunner who was trying to bring her down once she was discovered in the Compeki Plaza subnet. Second, and a bit more nefarious, what if T-Bug and Dex betrayed Jackie and V, selling them out to Arasaka in exchange for a fat payday? The whole heist job stinks to high heaven. Dex disappeared from the Fixer game for two years, only to resurface out of nowhere to take on a high-risk job, hiring two low-level mercs, Jackie and V. Dex has a sketchy reputation to be sure, so maybe he would struggle to hire more experienced mercs at this point, but why would he pin all his hopes for this job on Jackie and V? Also, Dex takes on a bunch of massive expenses before ever seeing a single eddy from the job. Evelyn pays nothing up front, and yet Dex fronts 10k to buy the flathead, in addition to spending money on fake IDs, a Delamain Excelsior package, and hotel expenses. That's a lot of money to put on the line when you've got a couple of gonks working for you. The timing of Yorinobu's arrival at the hotel is also a bit sus. T-Bug takes hours to pierce the hotel's ice in the subnet, but is able to crack the security like 10 minutes before all the Arasakas roll up to the penthouse? That's a bit convenient, isn't it? We also know that T-Bug and Dex knew each other before the heist, so maybe Dex and T-Bug were on the take with Arasaka from the start. This was certainly hinted at in the 2019 trailer for Cyberpunk 2077, which sees both Dex and T-Bug betraying V. This second explanation also has some problems though. It would be a massive risk to approach Arasaka about a plan to steal company property which you were a part of. Admitting you're about to help a group of mercs steal from the company would potentially put T-Bug in the crosshairs as well. Just take a look at what happens to Dex whenever he tries to sell V out to save his own skin. Takamura just puts a bullet in his head. C'est la vie. Ultimately, while it's fun to explore the possibility of T-Bug's survival, I think we can apply Occam's razor here and state that the most likely scenario is that she was killed during the heist. The T-Bug is still alive theories hinge a bit too much on speculation and contain plot holes that are difficult to reconcile without more evidence. So, did T-Bug fake her own death in Cyberpunk 2077? Maybe, but probably not. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more cyberpunk and RPG videos. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.